Hello, this is Max Level EDC, and today I want to do an unboxing and just a, pretty, a recap of a multi tool that I think you're going to love for EDC. And, well, let's just get to it. This right here is not like the rest of these tools here. It, in my opinion, hits the perfect balance on size, weight, ergonomics, and function as an EDC tool specifically. It's not going to beat the surge on function or durability okay but it has been in my opinion the tool that i can feel most comfortable with when i carry it and know that it'll is going to accomplish most of whatever i want and outside of that i should probably be going and getting some real tools so in this box as you probably can tell from the title is the leatherman leap it's probably not one you've decided to put into your pocket um, but it's certainly in mine and it was originally designed for kids, but there is a lot of reason to consider this for your EDC, even if you're not one. I mean, we're all, let's be honest, we're all kind of kids a little bit, and that's why we love multi-tools. But definitely, I think you should consider this for real. All right, let's go ahead and insert this removable blade, which, by the way, can be removed and uh, even after you've done this, let me just describe that. So now it's locked in. If I press the button down, slide it forward and slide it out, comes out. There, bam. Real quick. Now, once again, closing, push in the button, close. Notice that my finger never gets caught in the path of the blade. There's a longer review of the actual tool and what I've used already, but uh, I highly recommend this tool. It is a very, very lightweight. I think I've already covered this before in a previous video. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Get rid of grams, because, no, I can't. This is basically 4.4 and 5 eighths ounces, which is basically four and a half ounces. Compare that to even the Skelet tool, which is about five and an eighth ounce. And this thing is coming in real light, real, real light and dimensionally significantly shorter than the skeletal. Just to put a couple comparisons here, here's how it is compared to the Leatherman Surge. Now it is rather thick, but no thicker than a full size four or five um, layer Victorinox and comes in at a very nice weight under five ounces. Now it is not going to be as thin as say, the Leatherman Side Clip, which is an excellent, excellent EDC tool. One of my favorites, in fact. Um, I just love it. But I only carry this if I have a dedicated knife that I can open one-handed. And even though it might not seem like this one is, when with just a small modification, you will be able to do so. Let me just go over that. So this is mine. This is the Leatherman Leap I carry. Now you notice I have cut some of this material away. I used, I was sitting around and whittling with my um, EDC pen. This is a 12 in one, really cool, cool tool. I have to do a separate video on this. But anyway, I just carved some of this out. And this is a great material to use a knife to carve versus a Dremel tool. It won't um, melt on you that way. So that's how I would suggest doing it. And let's go ahead and put the blade back in so you can see that this is in fact one handed operation. Now I do a lot of times keep it keep it separate from uh, my multi tool, or maybe you have or haven't seen this, but I went ahead and used that as a template and took a wave blade, and now it locks. Now it's a little bit loose at the end, but it does lock up, and that's very nice. It does, and it also fits with a little nail neck right there. So I've been pretty happy with this setup when I don't want to carry a blade, like when I'm I'm a teacher and a, I need to not carry a blade, this is the way I carry it. And now I'm legal, which is nice. Um, it has a lot of the tools I love. It does have one-handed operating pliers. You can do that one-handed quite easily and you can close it one-handed easily. Now, this is a brand new one, and I will show you, you can do it with this as well. Okay? 
and that is probably the smallest one-handed opening pliers that I can think of. Most of the other ones this size have a detent and spring mechanism like the style or the skeletal, which is over, where did I put it? Right here. Now, in order to open this, you definitely have to have it two hands. There's an actual spring, and it will keep it in. So it's not one-handed. Now, this got a great one-handed blade, but pliers, not one-handed. You can't get access to this one-handed either. You can, however, access this Phillips one-handed quite easy, regardless of whether you modify it or not. And you should modify it, because what I'm suggesting is quite simple. All you have to do is take a little bit of a blade and just carve some of this away. That's it. That's all I did. Um, I also carved some of this away and narrowed it so I could carry it the way I wanted on this S-Beaner by Night Eyes. Now I carry it with a small flashlight. This is about a 150 lumen flashlight. And I put a cheap pocket clip on top of it that's deep carry. So what that happens is when this sits in... Now I have, oh, I clipped it in wrong. So let me turn this around. So I set it up so that when it's against my pocket, the blade side is on the inside. So when I pull it out, I can one hand the blade in the right orientation, which is a nice thing. It's just something simple, but I really like it. Uh, definitely would recommend that. And yes, you don't need that little piece. It's helpful. And in fact, I like, don't throw this away. You're going to want to keep it because when you, if you have to keep the blade separate, it's a nice way to keep it in your pocket without getting cut, which is wonderful. It says discard after. Don't discard this. This is awesome. Don't lose it. Okay. So yes, this tool rocks. And I've, yeah, I've even upgraded the scissor because I like, I didn't like the ergonomics on the scissor and this one cuts pretty much everything. But you don't have to do that. The scissor on the original tool were decent. They weren't great, but they were decent. Um, let me just pull it out here. And yeah, when they lock, they spring open and they have a spring. And they, they do cut. They cut pretty well. They weren't able to cut fibrous material all that well, like um, fabric, a paracord, that kind of thing. But anything else, like any of your you know tasks to cut fingernails, any of that stuff, it's going to handle that great. Uh, that kind of stuff. So, yes, it's not the best scissor. Victorinox still reigns supreme, with the exception of the one that are in the uh, spirit, which I think are god-awful. But anyway, I digress. I would highly recommend this for your EDC. It's going to come in very light. It's going to be incredibly ergonomic. I'm so used to using it one-handed. So... When you grip this, there is literally no hot spots. And that blew my mind. It's It has a very nice firm grip. It's got even got spot for my fingers. And yes, I do have smaller hands, but you're going to still, even if you had, had to take your fingers off of it, because of how wide it is, because of its thickness, it's actually very, very comfortable. And you can really bear down on this knife. It might not seem that way, but this is actually thicker than even the S30V blade from the charge. Now you can see that, I hope. Now I have a, another video to show that, but just trust me, it's excellent. Anyway, do I recommend this? Hells yeah. In fact, uh, I bought this for $18 shipped. That's right, $18. That means it comes in cheaper than most of the Chinese equivalents and the website I got it still has some for about 28 um, I think I bought all the the green ones that they had they were uh, inexpensive but you can if you look around you're gonna find this pretty cheap on the internet I think the most you're gonna spend is 40 which puts it $20 under the sidekick or wingman $20 less than the sidekick or wingman and this has both the scissors and a saw and with just a small modification, both of them are one-hand operation. I mean, what? And it still has an amazing full-size pair of pliers. I mean, just look at it compared to the pliers on the Skeletal. 
I mean, skeletal pliers are decent. People have used them for all kinds of things, but you can tell this is this is this is no contest. These are much much bigger plier heads. They're gonna be able to do a lot more. I mean, let's just pull it out compared to the wave. I mean, these are not that far off. In fact, they're they're almost the same in length and dimension. Can you, I hope you can see that. They're similar. Now, I actually prefer how this comes to a, a narrower point more, but from the fact that it, this is narrow, this is less thick, it's okay that this is a little bit, you know, beefier at the end. I'm not super upset about that. In fact, I haven't noticed too much difference. The, the currences where I prefer a tighter tip haven't come up very often, so not really necessary. Anyway, I... Definitely, 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 definitely recommend you picked one of these up. I mean, if you're comparing these to, say, something like the Victorinox Deluxe Tinker, with the exception of the scissors, and it is a good exception because their scissors are amazing, and everything else here locks, and it also uh, is one-handable. Like, that's a significant change, and they're fairly similar in price, if I remember correctly. I think the Deluxe Tinker is around 40 so now we're talking apples to apples on price. I mean, would you rather have the small Victorinox pliers or this big honking pair of pliers? And yeah, they open pretty wide. Let's see. Do they open just as wide? Yeah, pretty much. They're pretty much the same as far as the width is concerned. You can open these the same amount. We definitely can't open the Victorinox pliers that wide. And you're definitely not going to want to tackle any of those nuts that you could open that wide on the Victorinox. This has reasonable ergonomics for pliers. And yes, you can bear down on it pretty hard. If I need to twist on something, I'll feel a lot more confident using this. Uh, I'm very, very happy with mine uh, in the setup that I have it in. I have this little S beaner between the two and this flashlight hanging up so it dangles in my pocket. I mean, it's just a great setup. It has a lot of my tools in one shot. I mean, it's probably one of the few tools that has a pair of tweezers that the Leatherman offers. And the tweezers are pretty solid. I mean, so it has the tweezers from the Micra along with a 2D Phillips, um, which is also quite nice and a flathead screwdriver, easy access, all of which is on the outside. Doesn't have to open anything. I mean, that's this is excellent. For the value, you're not gonna beat it. I, I just highly recommend this. I cannot stress it enough. And the beauty, one of the beauties of this blade is it's a non-threatening style blade. It does exactly what it's meant to do, which is be great for utility. It has a great shape, great profile, a great thickness. It's just all around. It's just a, a beast. I have had a very hard time not picking this up or choosing to pick this one up instead of some of these others you've seen. Even, like I love that it's not a combo blade because the only thing I don't like about the signal is the fact that it has that combo blade. It just doesn't make any sense on a survival tool. But whatever. Anyway, definitely pick this pick this up. You will not regret it, I guarantee you. It's in it because it's inexpensive and you're using it day to day, you're, you're gonna be less concerned with losing it, and it's gonna give you all the functions that you need day to day. I mean the saw you're probably not gonna use often, but you're gonna love that you have it. If you ever decide to do any woodwork, this pretty much has you covered completely. And the ergonomics, oh my god, I could sit and use this for wood all day long. It's just I can't speak enough about the Leatherman Leap. Uh, it's definitely not one you're probably considering. It certainly looks very cheap. The, the, the scales definitely give it that indication, but the metal parts and the construction, it's really well built. I cannot stress that enough. And I would highly recommend looking at it. And maybe you'll find that you feel the same way I do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Signing off.